Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back. Hi, hello. <laughs> As you can see today, my attire is different. It is Ramadan. So Ramadan Mubarak to all of you who are partaking in this month. Um, I hope that you have a blessed month, inshallah. I mean, and you just feel that spiritual upliftment and improvement in this month and after. As you can see, I'm wearing a scarf. I don't normally wear a scarf. Um, I'm not going to be wearing a scarf like in all my posts and things, but I am trying to be better and trying to feel more comfortable wearing a scarf because I'm not at that point where I feel comfortable wearing it. I'm going to try and do a couple more looks with scarves and like have my makeup match the scarf, which I think is really, really fun. Um, so yeah, today's video is focusing on like my skin and my foundation and how I finish off my look. You'll see when I show, like when I start, that my skin is completely bare. I did do my eyes off camera um but i'm just like doing like an updated like make full face makeup look I'm trying to incorporate more products that are more affordable so hopefully there's a couple of things here that you like and that you can actually afford to go and buy because i know makeup is quite expensive and i can't even afford it all the time there are however certain things that i would save up for and that's also why i'm thinking that i should do more of these makeup tutorials so that i can kind of share with you guys which products I think is worth saving up and spending your money on or where you can go and get something way cheaper and can do almost exactly the same thing. Anyway, I'm speaking for a long time. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so what I would start off with is by going in with the Aveen Eye Cream um, and I just use that before I do any of my makeup just to prep my skin. Also apologies guys if you hear like some rooting and whatever, it's like peak out traffic outside. Oh, I hear it right there. Okay, so after I've prepped my eyes with the Aveen eye cream, I would go on in with Helio K Advanced Sunscreen. So this is SPF 50 and I would just put that on my skin. I feel like I should probably do like a proper like when I go to bed what I do for my skin but this is just kind of what I do to prep my skin before I put on makeup. Then I'd go in with my um, Clinique ID Moisturizer. Honestly, I love this stuff. Like, ah, uh, I don't know if you guys can see but I've used quite a lot of it already. Went to the event like a few weeks back and I've just been using this moisturizer ever since it really hydrates my skin. Okay, so after my moisturizer, I'll go in with my primer. So I'm going to be going in with this primer over here. It's the Glow Boosting Pore Minimizing Primer from Essence. And this is like one of my faves. It just feels really, really nice on the skin. Makes makeup sit really nicely and apply really nicely. Like it's looking quite nice and like moisturized and hydrated you want to make sure that you have a really good like base and not foundation base base is in this base to work with so it needs to be as hydrated and moisturized as possible so that when you apply your foundation it looks smooth okay so i'm going to be using the color correct concealer palette over here this is just for underneath my eyes i don't have much like dark circles today strangely enough maybe this Avene eye cream is helping I don't know but I'm just gonna apply a little bit to under my eyes so I'm gonna be using the makeup revolution um, foundation stick today I'm in the shade F8 and this was like way back when when I swatched this so hopefully it still fits me this is the um, Beauty by Zara makeup puff that I'm using. This foundation seems a little bit sly for me. <laughs> yeah, but we make do. I don't know when last um, I wore this foundation. Anyway. Okay, so I used F8. Clearly, I went a bit darker since the last time I used it, which was a few months ago. Um, I'm going to just add a little bit of the... Too Faced Concealer in Warm Beige. So Warm Beige is like exactly my skin color. It's normally in a concealer. I would, um, can you see, it's like very similar. Normally in a concealer I would take lighter, but I clearly messed up. 
Anyway, so I'm just gonna add some of this to the foundation from Makeup Revolution just to give it a little bit more warmth. So I'm going in with the Fit Me Concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit of that down my nose and under my eyes, a little bit around my nose and then on my chin. And a little bit jaw and a little bit jaw. Basically everywhere. <laughs> so I just used the Ale Gold Pro Conceal in Chestnut. I love this concealer to contour. Um, and then I'm just going to use like a contour brush and just blend it out. I'm going to go in now with the Fenty Beauty powder. Okay guys, let me just tell you. This powder. I have the shade Banana. I've always been using Laura Mercier. Um, like for the last year at least and like this is the first time I see a powder actually rival Laura Mercier for me because like I was dead set on like Laura Mercier which is my ride or die because I hadn't found a powder that was as good as that and now Fetty came along and I actually saw on Twitter because on Twitter they were like, um, Fenty is better than Laura Mercier. And I was like, ah, what? No ways. I need to test this out myself. But it really does give you that smooth finish that you want from a powder. And I'm going to show you guys now. Now with the Fenty powder, I'm just going to prop it like underneath my eyes. I'm going to show you the one eye and then compare it to the other eye. The granules is so fine. Firstly, that's amazing. Um, because that means that it settles really nicely on your skin. And it makes it look really flawless. Okay, so I'm just like dusting off the powder. I'm going to dust this off. And then I'm going to go over the contour we I did with the concealer. With some Hoola bronzer. Um, and also I need to contour my nose. But I wanted to just show you guys. Look at the difference. Like this is without concealer. I mean without powder. And this is with powder. You can literally see the difference. Like there's a difference. It literally is such a silky powder. I feel like I should change this YouTube video. To review the Fenty powder. Because it's amazing. So I'm going to go in now with the Hoola bronzes. I don't know if you guys heard, but they are now different shades of Hoola bronzes. I'm really keen to try out the shade above the shade, the normal Hoola. Because I, I always used to feel like, you know, like, this works. Um, it works really nicely, but I always sometimes like, like a deeper contour. I'm going to go in with MAC Cosmetics lip liner in etc. So I was going to just leave my lips this color because it's really pretty but I'm going to add a little bit of this Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. Oh wow, but I don't want to mess it up. Let me just check. This lip gloss always makes my lips look like really nice and plump. It literally just like plumps it up. Oh, for those of you who don't know, the lashes that I'm wearing is from the Glam Lash Official. This is the little packaging it comes in. It's amazing. Look how beautiful it is. It's such a beautiful lash. Like, so insane. Okay, so I'm going to finish off my makeup look by just setting it with the MAC Fix Plus. Oh my god, I forgot highlighter. <gasps> my affordable highlighters are the Essence Glow To Go and this Makeup Revolution ultra cool glow highlighter palette like this is really affordable for all the shades that you get and this is also really affordable i think this one is like 99 rand and it is incredible like let me actually just just using some of the essence water the fix fixing spray and then i'm just putting some on my brush and then now because it's wet it's gonna pick it up even more look at that mm -mm -mm. look at that honey and I'll just put a little bit on this over there because I like just giving a little bit of a shine there. I honestly think that this shade over here is literally very, very similar to my ABH 
glow kit. Like I have the glow kit, but I'm reaching for this ace as well. So that's telling you something. Like I have this one. And it's actually the shades are very similar. Like look at this. Look at that. Look. You can see, you can literally see the shades are very, very similar. So the ABH one you're gonna pay like a thousand yen and this one you're gonna pay like 99 yen. So I'm just saying this is the one to go for. And there we go. So this is the final makeup look. I absolutely love, love, love the way that this powder finished off my skin. I know I didn't do the eyes on screen. Next time I will do an eye look. But I just focused on my skin today and I hope that you learned something or you got some new products that you are interested in getting. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!